Hi again peeps. We've done the freaky graveyard, we haven't left yet, this town won't let us leave, until we've been to the best bit yet. We sampled the pizza from Suter's Creek, we went into the crypt, and we read some horrible reviews of the local hotel. Now we're going to South Suter Coast Battery. No, we're not going to visit a double-A battery, we're going to visit a place that was designed to blast invaders out of the water, only, they never came. My skirt will get shredded going over there, then I'll inhale asbestos. It would be safer not to go over there. In going over there, this is the first room I went into. It looks like a pig trough, the pigs have gone though, am I to eat from this? Comments below, or perhaps don't? North Suter Coastal Battery protected the inlet from invaders. It was created in 1922. Used in the First and Second World War, the site was abandoned shortly after World War II. A white protective coat? Why is this next to the pig trough? Why is there a chair in the corner? Am I in the right room? I just came for a manicure. Not sure what the building to the left is, all I know is that some brats have created some fabulous graffiti that we will go and scorn after soon. You're looking at the office, dining hall and cookhouse on the right of the road. All very basic, nothing like the sumptuous dining rooms of Mayfair or Paris, but then, these were soldiers, protectors, men with big strong arms and who I could go on but I won't. This is more of a history lesson than a tripsy daisy to Notting Hill Festival. Ooh, ooh, I remember now, the battery observation post, this building here is built like a torture chamber, only it isn't, it's not a torture chamber, do not worry folks. Steel windows survive the ravaging weather that comes in from the sea. A bath survives, or does it, was this put in place for the wild boar that used to be kept down the hill in the prohibited area, that we will visit as part of this grand tour of decrepitness? Black mold adorns this dwelling couple of jokes for you, given we're in the army now YouTubers. The sergeant major growled at the young soldier, I didn't see you at camouflage training this morning. Thank you very much, sir. I don't get it. A chimney, sticking out of the top in seriously good condition. This area did not used to have grass all over it, the ground has naturally become overgrown and, uh, excuse the pun, camouflaged. I want to go down under the ground, but it's murky and minging down there. I brought along a flashlight, my camera, and a box of dairy milk chocolates, because I'm a sucker for cheap chocolate that used to be the bee's knees but is now like Prosecco, Prosecco is the cheap champagne, perhaps I'm a snob, now is not the time to argue about such stuff, so please, lay off. I take a deep breath, and hold it. I wasted my time, it smells of nothing down here. One big room with ducts on the floor, perhaps for cables. Some muppet has stuck a telegraph pole up the chimney. Did they actually waste all that time? To do something pointless like that? At the top of the room, two concrete things, looking quite modern, untouched compared to the rest of this slimy pit. I can see the battens that perhaps plasterboard was nailed to. The black paint beyond that, what was the black paint for? Communications and power cables, but no internet, there was no internet then, but there was telephone, there would be internal communications and a line to the outside world, perhaps only during the second time in use. A really low room, perhaps some sort of shelter, perhaps somewhere to store munchies, it must have been boring up there, I don't think one shot was ever fired from up here. Since we're wandering aimlessly, I gotta tell another joke. British Navy ship is sinking, they are sending message on the radio, Mayday, Mayday. We are sinking. A German ship hears their message and responds, this is German Navy ship. What are you sinking about? <laughs> I feel like some sort of peeping Sheila up here, looking out of the windows, as if to spot a German boat. Some bird has blocked the chimney. It's time to leave, at some point we have to go see the big gun launching bit where the pigs used to live. A couple was touring a shipyard area in a coastal city of Italy when they saw a strange looking craft. They stopped and asked a worker, sir, is that a U-boat? No. He replied, she's a belonga to the government. Okay even I found that one hard to laugh at. Let's get up the stairs, have a further look at the top formation, then get down and dirty with the guns. Fun fact, the word graffiti originates from both Greek and Italian, the Greek word graphane which means to write, and the Italian word graffito, which means a scratch. Anyway, I forgot to bring my graffiti spray paint, or I would have had a pop at this room too, just to destroy more of this protected site. Only joking, I think the graffiti is sort of cool. I wouldn't get involved though because it would go all over my hands and stuff. 
I think that's the canteen over there, I would not eat there, it's too shabby. This site became protected in 2019, so the graffiti unfortunately will have to go, however the site is owned by a private landowner, there are discussions to open it to the public. The area at the bottom is most exciting, but dangerous, so infrastructure will need to be put in place to allow access. Was that too serious from me, are the NAFI? The Navy, Army and Air Force Institute, abbreviated to, NAFI, was established by the British government in 1921, to make sure goods were supplied to members of the armed forces and their families at reasonable prices. The barracks, totally wrecked, totally in pieces, it's a sin they have been allowed to deteriorate into such an abysmal condition. I really could do with an ice cream right now to calm my nerves. Notice how they design all the buildings to be ammunition proof, but the barracks are basically made of wood and tin, I would rather not sleep in one of these, no thanks, no so- So basic? No Wi-Fi, no USB points, no hair dryers even in the drawers, why do hotels always have hair dryers in drawers? Nowadays, I'm surprised that soldiers can fight, they are so busy looking at their phones, scrolling, endlessly scrolling, giggling a little at some seriously unfunny fake TikTok videos, what is the purpose of this TikTok? Is TikTok just a big ploy by the Chinese government, who own TikTok, to turn people into a bunch of hair flicking, pumped up lip pouting, men leg shaving idiots? God damn you TikTok and your followers. If we were to have an invasion right now, everyone would head to the nearest Wi-Fi enabled USB point for further instructions on how to drink a pint with no hands. I'm out, I am ready and waiting, my fav tool of the trade is my bolt action sniper rifle, so accurate, and my TikTok follow. Another set of stairs, it's times like this I would love to jump on a Stana stairlift and got for a jolly without any effort. The only reason I would worry, is because I watched that gremlin scene, that poor lady was treated so badly in that movie, the filmmakers should hang their heads in shame, she went right out the window. I hope she is okay now. <laughs> Loved that movie, watched it at the cinema. Anyways Fokies, this isn't about me, this is about you, it's about showing you what's out there. In my newly planned videos I'm going to be taking you to some really, really disgusting places, creepy ones, but no happy clappy ones, I'm not here to show you the good stuff. If you want the good stuff, head over the TikTok world, where you can snigger at a 12 seconds fake prank, there's so much to this place. Did you see the retaining wall back there? I suspect this is from the older World War 1 setup, then this play- Hold on, got a duck under this branch. This would have been modernized for World War 2 use. Now this is exciting. These buildings are in the closed off part, access to this part is especially hard, I found a hole just big enough to smuggle my slender body through, like a snake I entered the den, like a snake we enter the box. No toilets left in here, but sure as hell these were bogs. I'm a lady, I can't stand up to do a widdle in here peeps. A quick peek as the pee place peeps and we're out of here like a thief in the night. Lots of rooms, you can see places to wash and where the showers were, the washrooms. Down the cliff there is some lookout buildings, but I'm not the sporty type, I'll stay up here where the pigs lived, apparent. There's something cool about being somewhere that not many have been, so to speak, but the features here, they are sparse. Up to a lookout post, you can imagine lots of paranoid men. The technology at the time was basic. Sonar was available during the Second World War, but not the first, the first had to do with pure good eyesight a very basic system. During World War I, submarines were detected by listening for their engines or propellers. A simple two earphone, air tube, device was worn by the sonar operator who could determine the direction from which the sound arrived by mechanically rotating the receiver. Anti-submarine loops, basically undersea cables, worked to detect submarines in the area, when the subs went over them, they were disturbed. I have a yappy dog, every time someone walks past my front door, my dog yaps and barks. The dog chews its way right through gaffer tape so that's not an option to stop this outrageous noise. I can't help but think that these poor people, peering through the sea har, poking their ears into the water, that they couldn't just have gotten hold of a bunch of out-of-control mongrels to help them seek out the invaders. The biggie, the thing you've all been waiting for. 
This is a different type of building, it was modified between World War I and World War II, making the shape unique. We're going into the World War II gun house, Wawawu, the highlight of the tour. I would rather be touring Mauritius. The gun turret room, this massive gun would look out toward the North Sea of Scotland. This is seriously something else. I'd like an ice cream to eat right now, just one Cornetto, give it to me. Lots of fireplaces perhaps, perhaps not, I'm blonde and was too cheap to get a proper hairdresser to do it, it's a poor job, forgive me, I love it how nature has taken over yet the strong lines of blatant functional and totally unattractive concrete will shine through no matter what the weather throws at this place, I don't know what these closets are for, I'm going to take an uneducated guess that they were sealed with steel doors and intermescent surroundings, designed to seal in the ammo for the massive 9 inch gun, this bit looks like an abandoned theme park, I want to go up, I'll go up. Up here we have the whole shebang, a superb well-preserved anti-submarine and ship gun area. Imagine how hard it would be to shoot at a submarine that you couldn't see, couldn't hear, I imagine the chances of hitting an actual submarine or ship would be low even if detected by one of the rudimentary means. Up here we have the whole shebang, a superb well-preserved anti-submarine and ship gun area. Imagine how hard it would be to shoot at a submarine that you couldn't see, couldn't hear, I imagine the chances of hitting an actual submarine or ship would be low even if detected by one of the rudimentary means. Oh yeah I remember this one, how do you sink a submarine? Knock on the door. I'm going now, I'm absolutely shattered from all this sauntering about cliff tops. Remember, this isn't safe stuff, don't do this at home, bot can explore everything because I am invincible. I hope you enjoyed the trip. Bye eee.